Remember 2008, the financial crisis to end all financial crises? Well, now experts are saying we're on the verge of another. Right now though, over 80% of all spend by consumers in the United States is going towards just basic needs. So people aren't prepared for what happens next. Hello, my name is Ankur Jain and I'm the CEO of Kairos. We've created the Financial Crisis Survival Kit to help us navigate the next financial crisis. The first thing you'll need is an emergency savings account. What you don't realize is 66 million Americans have zero emergency savings. And 45% of us can't even afford a $500 emergency expense. But we all know these emergencies happen anytime, whether it's medical, losing her job, or something else. But in a downturn, it's even harder to get access to help or loans in an emergency situation. So make sure you have at least one month's rent of savings available. What you might not know is that you can actually get your security deposit back from your landlord. That way you can keep that extra cash for emergency savings instead of having it locked away. And for as little as $5 a month, you can get insurance from companies like Rhino that actually protect your landlord and require them to give you your hard-earned cash back. Next in the kit, lower student loans. Student loans are like the carbon monoxide of debt. In fact, over 44 million Americans now owe over $1.5 trillion in student loans. And that number is only getting worse. The problem is many of us took out student loans with variable interest rates over the last 10 years because the rates are so cheap. But now as the economy starts to turn, your monthly student loan payment is gonna skyrocket without you doing anything. So make sure that you refinance ASAP into a fixed rate student loan. If you don't know what that means, just ask your bank or ask your loan provider. And you can also check online to see if you're qualified for what's called an income-based repayment option with the government. The quickest way to do this though, is look into startups like Pillar. They'll take all your student loans and automatically check to tell you what options are available, both refinancing and government credits. They'll make it easy to make sure that you have the lowest possible rate throughout this crisis so you can keep that extra money in your pocket where you need it. The next item in your kit is your affordable childcare, the world's most expensive alarm clock. First, find out if your employer offers FSA benefits. And if so, make sure to enroll so you can get up to $5,000 of childcare expenses tax-free. And childcare memberships like Kinside can actually handle this for you and also at the same time give you discounts at a network of the country's best childcare clinic. Next in the kit is a high credit score. With over 45 million American adults having no credit score and 85 million with subprime credit, it can be really hard to get access to credit cards or personal loans during a downturn. And so if you end up in a short-term cash crunch, you're going to need this higher credit score to be able to make it through. What most people don't realize is you can actually build up your credit score just by saving. Services like SelfLender will offer a special type of savings account where you build your credit history just by depositing a little bit of money each month. And at the end of 12 months, your money is unlocked and you've boosted your credit score. Now let's imagine you've done all of this. You have your finances in order, you've put aside some savings, you're ready for the financial crisis. And then you lose your phone or your watch is stolen or something happens and damages your apartment. What do you do? And so the last item in the survival kit is renter's insurance. You'd be surprised at all the things that a small $5 a month renter's insurance policy covers. Everything from a fire in your kitchen to a cracked iPhone screen. And this could be a major lifesaver, especially during an economic crash when a theft or home damage could hit your bank account hard. Don't worry, renter's insurance is easy to get. You can enroll online at sites like Lemonade.com for as little as five bucks a month and get your personal property covered anywhere in the world. And if all else fails, don't worry. Your survival kit has you covered. Just pull out your friend Jack, break the glass, and take a sip. All will be okay while we sit here and work together to make it through the next crisis.